This year is the year of the global warming and the message I would like to share with you that if you are concerned about global warming, you have to wait until you will hear about something which is much more serious that people are concerned about but don't want to talk about. And I took upon myself to share with you some of the issues and fortunately also to offer some of the solutions. If you were uh, concerned by global warming, wait until you hear about local warming. <laughs> this message is an important health message. Blogging may be hazardous to your health, especially if you mail. This message is given as a public service. Blogging affects your posture. Here we see that when you are using computer and when you are using laptop, you are facing a number of issues. And the natural posture of blogging is problematic. This is female natural posture without blogging. And this is female natural posture <laughs> by blogging. This is a male natural posture, male usually sitting squatting for ventilation issues. <laughs> and this is male natural posture while standing with no laptops. I gave this lecture, gentlemen, this is a serious issue. <laughs> We started with DAPA, we continued with the home security, and now we are getting to the real issues. I gave this uh, lecture at TED in February, and uh, Chris Anderson, for reasons which I didn't understand, uh, put me in the session of lateral thinking, but then I thought maybe this is because of this slide. And the result of blogging, as described by the Times of London, a very serious newspaper, that for greater comfort, men actually sit with their legs farther apart than women. When working on laptop, however, they will adopt a less natural position in order to balance it on their laps, which result in a significant rise in body heat between their th size. This is, ladies and gentlemen, the issue of local warming. And here we can share with you a very serious research which was done at Stony Brook University, which uh, suggests that increasing scrotal temperature in laptop computer users and its effect fertility. As you can see, my English is not very good, and uh, I didn't know what is scrotal. I understand that in in the singular is scrotum, in plural is scrota. And only last year I realized that I am too a proud scrotum owner. <laughs> so this is the issue of local warming. And the problem with understanding the word scrotum is not only mine. You know this book won the Newbery Prize for the best cake kid book last year and it was banned because it mentioned that word and they, there was an issue, what is it? This is a slide which I'm using for the Israeli local uh, politics. You know, I belong to the, in Israel to the left, which is uh, getting smaller and smaller, but I shared it with my friends from the left and I show him that we still have future because as you can see, the left side, the temperature rise uh, lower than on the right side, so the left still have a future, according to this research of Mr. Shakin and company in Stony Brook. The total result is the future of your genes is endangered, and will geeks will become endangered species? That's a very good question. Fact that positive population growth in region with low laptop... I'm sorry, this is a... This is a mistake in the countries, but nevertheless, there is a, a, a negative population growth in countries like Denmark, where laptops are in high concentration, and a positive 
The population grows in places where laptop is more scarce, like Africa and Latin America. This is a graph suggested by Mr. Rosling, show the relations between fertility, size of family, and the use of internet, and I think the conclusion is very obvious. The more you use the internet, the less kids you have, and the research which was done uh, just uh, a month ago uh, gave an explanation, full 20% are spending less time on sex they are in Israel, uh, they are, when they are uh, on internet. I'm very proud to tell you that Israel is an exception. You can see <laughs> that we stand aside. This is Hans Rosling, a very serious statistician. The company was bought by Google. We can both produce kits and surf the internet. Takes a little bit of acrobatics, but we can do it. Laptop may be able to use overpopulation, this is the global warming is just aggravating <laughs> the situation. And time is of the essence, in less than 100 years, population will get to hold. This is according to the United Nations, the graph for forecasting of population growth. And can you guess what effect this radical change in population growth? For sure, this is the introduction of laptops.